Hello everyone, welcome to HW News. This week has marked a very important development for the politics in India and probably a defining moment for politics in Tamil Nadu. After spending three years in jail in corruption case, VK Sasikala has returned to Tamil Nadu and she has already made it clear that she will be active in the state politics. Needless to say that her entry will not only ruffle feathers but also may stir up the political pot in the state. Her entry in the state was as dramatic as her exit. In 2017, before leaving for the jail term, Sasikala visited the memorial of late Chief Minister of the state, J. Jayalalita, to whom she was a close aide. She dramatically thumped the memorial three times and took a vow and then left. Since then, much has changed in the state politics. The two quarrelling factions of OPS and EPS have come together, BJP has made inroads in the state, DMK stalwart Karuna Nidhi is no more and Sasikala's own nephew TTV Dinakaran has formed his own party, own separate party known as AMMK and has won RK Nagar seat traditionally belonging to late former Chief Minister of the state J. Jayalalita. The state is going for election this year and the equations had already been formed for the first election in decades where both the state's tallest leaders won't be present. But with Sasikala's return, an uneasiness has also returned to the state politics. What her return means and how it is perceived by AIA, DMK and the BJP, we will try and understand in this video today. But before that, if you are watching this video on YouTube, then please make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video. And if you are watching this video on Facebook, then please do like our page and share this video to as many people as possible. Sasikala was released from the jail last month but was admitted to hospital after she was diagnosed with COVID-19. Her journey from Bangalore jail back to Chennai was nothing short of a road show or show of strength in itself. On her way, she stopped for visits to temples and received rousing welcomes at various points. One could say that there was a mix of curiosity and sympathy in the crowds that greeted her. Sasikala returning to Tamil Nadu couldn't have happened without its own share of drama though. The close aide of Jayalalita drove in the car used by Jayalalita and despite the warnings by the ruling AIA DMK, she used the AIA DMK flag on it. The party leaders had complained to the police that Sasikala was wrongly using the party flag. On entering Tamil Nadu, she shifted to another car belonging to an AIA DMK functionary and then continued to sport the party flag. The AIA DMK functionary was promptly dismissed from the party. News reports said that the driver who drove Sasikala from Bangalore to Chennai had also driven for Jayalalita. In Chennai, Sasikala drove to MGR's Ramapuram house and then paid her respects at his memorial. Sasikala's nephew and founder of the Amma Makkal Munetra Karagam, TTV Dinakaran, called the deception accorded to her historic and a turning point in Indian politics. On February 8, she also said that she will return to active politics. And she said, and I quote, My intention is that everyone must work in unity and not let the common enemy capture the throne. Unquote. Now let's talk about what happens to AIA DMK with her return. Four years later, a united OPS and EPS. Soon after Jailalita's death in December 2016, AIA DMK suffered a split with O. Panes Selvam or OPS, now a deputy chief minister, and EPS heading two factions. Later, the two factions merged and expelled Sasikala in September 2017 along with TTV Dinakaran and several others. Sasikala floated the Amma Makkal Munetra Karagam led by Dinakaran now. The party won the assembly by election for the RK Nagar seat in Chennai and secured close to 6% of the vote in the 2019 general elections. Dinakaran, who accompanied Sasikala on February 8th, said that many functionaries of the ruling AIA DMK turned up to welcome her. He said that she continued to remain the AIA DMK General Secretary, pointing to petitions pending in court over her expulsions. Meanwhile, within the AIA DMK, there have been two factions. There have been talks of OPS and EPS groups wrestling among themselves for power.
but Chief Minister EPS has managed to assert himself in the government, while OPS has been given a bigger role in the party. Though Sasikala is now treated as a common enemy by both the factions, there is still a significant section of MLAs of AIA DMK on whom she has a significant hold. This could be Sasikala's only hope going forward. Now let's talk about the BJP factor. In the party, OPS is largely seen as a BJP man. After Jayalalitha's death, the party grew close to the BJP, giving the Saffron party enough rope to climb the political hill in the state. In the month of January, EPS was in Delhi to invite Prime Minister Narendra Modi for the inauguration of new Jayalalitha Memorial in Chennai. But many say that the release of VK Sasikala was also discussed in a meeting. The BJP has been eyeing for more seats piggybacking AIA DMK this time around in the state, which has vehemently opposed the Saffron Party. They had big hopes with Rajnikan joining politics, but since the superstar has shelved his political plunge owing to his health, the BJP is in search for a new strategy. While the party openly announced its alliance with AIA DMK, it is yet to endorse EPS as the chief ministerial candidate publicly though AIA DMK has already stamped on the decision. In light of all of this, there are talks that BJP might have a plan B in the state that involves Sasikala. According to some reports, the BJP has been pushing its alliance partner to let Sasikala in. It says it does not want a split of votes that could benefit rival DMK. Now, sources said that the BJP has been involved in backroom talks with TTV Dinakaran as well to forge an alliance with AIA DMK. So, that leaves us with one question. What are the options for Sasikala now? First option, she could rejoin AIA DMK by striking a deal with OPS and EPS. There are significant number of AIA DMK leaders backing her. Also, the support of Thevar community to which she belongs could be crucial for AIA DMK in this election. Second possibility is the AIA DMK getting TTV Dinakaran's AMMK as an alliance partner, and this way Sasikala could still remain outside the party and help. If at all, that is the case to win the elections. And the third possibility is AMMK forms a third front with Sasikala to defeat AIA DMK in the election and this could very well split the votes and if at all help the DMK. However, as they say, a week is still a long time in politics. What happens next will be very interesting to see. But what do you think about this entire episode? Do let us know in the comment box below. For more news and updates, you can log on to www.hwnews.in. When we put the HW News Network in the HW News Network, we had to say that the news and information should be free to people, and we are still on this topic. But as you know, we are still on this topic. न्यूज़ चैनल चलाने के लिए पैसों की जरूरत है तो हमको सबको न्यूज फ्री पहुंचाने के लिए कुछ मेंबर्स और कुछ सपोर्टर्स की जरूरत है जी हाँ मेरी आप सबसे गुजारिश कि आप सब एच डब्ल्यू न्यूज हिंदी की मेंबरशिप को ग्रहण करें ये सदस्यता स्वैच्छिक है यानी कि आप अपनी मर्जी के मुताबिक इसे ग्रहण कर सकते हैं क्योंकि अगर आप इसे ग्रहण नहीं भी करते तब भी आपको एच डब्ल्यू न्यूज हिंदी के तमाम कार्यक्रम मिलते रहेंगे मगर अगर आप चाहते हैं कि आजाद न्यूज जो है वो मजबूत हो अगर आप चाहते हैं कि वो न्यूज जो सत्ता से सवाल पूछती है वो मजबूत हो तो जरूर बने एच न्यूज हिंदी के सदस्य जो लोग हमारे नवासी रुपए प्रति महीने वाले कार्यक्रम से जुड़ेंगे उनके लिए एच डब्ल्यू न्यूज का बैच विश मिलेगा साथ ही साथ उन लोगों को हमारे एक्सक्लूसिव पोल्स में भी शामिल होने का मौका मिलेगा इसके अलावा हमारा जो दूसरा मेंबरशिप कार्यक्रम है वो वन नाइनटी प्रति महीने का है यानी कि एक सौ प्रति महीने और इस प्रोग्राम में हमारे जो मेंबर्स हैं उन्हें निन्यानवे रुपए के प्रोग्राम वाले सभी 
चीजें तो मिलेंगी इसके अलावा बिजनेस से जुड़ी हुई बातें भी हम करेंगे हमारे एक्सपर्ट अखिलेश भार्गव से आप बिजनेस से जुड़े हुए अपने सवाल भी पूछ सकते हैं हम उम्मीद करेंगे कि आप इस निष्पक्ष पत्रकारिता की राह में हमें पूरी तरह से योगदान देंगे अब खबरें पाइए सबसे पहले हमारे मोबाइल न्यूज एप्लीकेशन पर एंड्रॉइड या आईओ एस प्लेटफॉर्म पर जाइए एच डब्ल्यू न्यूज नेटवर्क को सर्च कीजिए डाउनलोड कीजिए और अपनी सुविधा अनुसार भाषा का चयन कीजिए खबरों की भीड़ में अपने काम की खबर पाते रहिए